say hi to Max in Dallas. He was trying to tell us something about an hour ago. Max, what's going on, buddy? Hey, guys. How's it going? Faithful uh, listener of the program, by the way. I recognize uh, Max's voice. What's up, Max? Yeah. I uh, was listening to the replay of uh, Russ Martin down in Dallas last night, and uh, I guess he's got like two websites, a free one and one you got to subscribe to, so you guys could probably get the audio from it. But uh, somebody sent him an air check of uh, Ron and Don, and they were making fun out of it, and they were talking about all the people that's tried to get his time slot down there, and uh, I guess Ron and Don was one, and somebody else, somebody else, oh, and he said, God. oh, yeah, Opie and Anthony. And he said, so, uh, somebody from your show or one of you guys or something sent him an email like you were trying to make friends with them and took your name off of it or something or other. And he said he found out it was from your show because of the web domain or something. See? And he's, some, I, I can't remember exactly all was said, but more or less, like, he's pissed off at you guys and that you're a pussy and he wasn't going to talk to you or something like that. Did he mention our but, name? Yes, he did. There you go. Another guy that's got the virus that's going to help us get huge in radio again. show about halfway through the show. So if you guys want to have your man there, check out the website. Dude, this guy this guy is obsessed with uh, our program. I'll tell you what happened. We were, uh, we were syndicated to the same station he was on in Dallas. And yeah. uh, he claimed that I was writing emails to him, trying to be buddy-buddy with him. Anthony knows everyone associated with the show. We just don't do that with other DJs, you know. Uh, if we become friends because it happens, like Ron and Fez are great friends of ours, then great. But we don't go out of our way to make friends with anyone. If it happens, no problem, okay? So he claims that I was writing him over and over again emails, trying to become his friend. And then when I didn't become, uh, then when he didn't become my friend or something, then I started trashing him and saying, "Well, you're next, buddy. We're gonna." take you down and we're going to take your time slot. It never happened. And then the pussy program director at the time, who uh, has since moved on to a much smaller market because the guy didn't have uh, what it took to, to program a Dallas radio station, you know, uh, took Russ's side and, and claimed that I was lying and stuff. And then the general manager got involved and then Ken Stevens got involved. Oh. And it just didn't happen. Another phony and another fraud in this stupid business. I don't go around writing other jocks' emails. Can well, I say one except more for quick cool thing? guy. Uh, no, he wrote. Me, well, he wrote me, and then yeah, right. that exchange happened. You're right, but I don't go out of my way to go. Hey, we're new to Dallas. Uh, want to become friends? Be my pal. Be my. I could care less. Russ Martin is a is a one market uh, one market jock. I don't. Yep. I don't know him. Hey, can I, can he's I on. A, he's on in Dallas. He was, <clears throat> he's a douche. He does afternoons in Dallas. He's I boring. And, and, and he's you. successful in Dallas. Great. Congratulations. But that's all he does. One market. Great. Well, I think we've been a little more successful than that. But that was that was raised back in the NEW days, and it was addressed. And I'll be you're like, no, it just we're not. I could not, I'm not believe it. The guy. And then the program director is calling me and is like, you know, uh, you know, this is not cool. I'm I'm, I'm trying to have a synergy on this station. I'm, and I'm oh. like, buddy, I didn't do it. And then he didn't believe me, and then the, I had to talk to the general manager, and then what Ken Stevens got involved, and then we had Scott Colombo, who, uh, who was the computer guru at, at NEW, a great yeah. guy to this day, we still love the guy, and, and he actually did a whole report proving that all these emails were not coming from me. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think it was Russ Martin, you know, uh, uh, doing a little something, something. But I can't prove it. But uh, with the IP or whatever Scott did, he proved yeah. that uh, the emails that were written to this guy did not come from me, and they still didn't believe me. Conspiracy. They still didn't believe it. Hey, hey guys, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, maybe. Uh, what I was wondering is the way your uh, interns screw up, like bringing Jimmy the nasty apples and all that shit. You guys ought to have like a dartboard of punishment, and let your uh, let your interns throw darts, and they got to do the punishment. Thank you, Matt.